Top three things in my notebook this morning are largely going to be focused on what the reaction is to this jobs number, which incidentally was a miss. Uh, I'd heard whispers tracking closer to 300,000. So again, if you're long the mo bro momentum out there, which would include biotech stocks and social media, I would be worried. So top three things are US dollar, number one, number two, the 10-year bond yield, and of course, number three will be gold. So again, looking at uh, the reaction, most likely what's gonna happen here is that people are gonna look forward to a weakening job market from six and a half or 6.6% .6 unemployment rate, could go to 8%, 9%, wouldn't that be fantastic? And again, the dollar would weaken in the face of that because of course, Janet Yellen will get marginally dovish in the face of that. Again, don't forget that she is bullish on growth after growth already accelerated. Now, of course, US growth is slowing, which includes the rate of change in employment. Now, the second point, uh, the best way to be long of this, obviously, is to be long growth slowing. How do you buy growth slowing? You buy bonds, you buy the long bond. In, in, you know, specifically, that is what we like here. And again, 2.5% would be no problem at all in the next three to six months on the 10-year <coughs> bond yield. And that's why we are long of it in long bond terms. Uh, looking at gold, finally, of course, if we do get, finally, a breakdown in the dollar from here, uh, gold would like that. So again, you want to be long some kind of slow growth yield chasing situation, which would include utilities, REITs, anything that blew up in the last year, uh, et cetera. Because again, last year growth accelerated, now growth is slowing. Uh, and again, gold would be a good way to play that with gold up 7.5% for the year to date versus the Dow, uh, which is flat. So those are your top three things.